And this far, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. Two heads are better than one is a pretty common saying about teamwork. But sometimes you need three heads to really get the job done. Many teams in the NBA have put together great trios that went on to do great things in the league. From the days of Jordan and the Bulls to LeBron and the big three of the Miami Heat, this video will take an in-depth look at some of the top big threes to grace the basketball court in no particular order. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad Mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Let's start off with a trio from the earlier days of the NBA. Jerry West, Elgin Baylor, and Wilt Chamberlain. Four years, three appearances in the finals, and one title. That's the list of accomplishments of the former Lakers Big Three of Jerry West, Wilt Chamberlain, and Elgin Baylor. All of these players are recognizable names for their own reasons, and they were pretty good when they were on one team together. The mark that West in specific has left on the NBA is still visible today, as it's his silhouette that's featured on the league's logo. As a whole, this big three wasn't the most successful the league has seen, as they lost in more finals than they won. But their time together was a foreshadowing of bigger things for the Lakers as a franchise. The title they won together, as well as the finals appearances in general, helped keep the Lakers as one of the premier franchises in the league, and the 1972 championship effectively bridged the gap between the dominant Lakers teams of the 80s and the earlier title in 1954, which took place back when the Lakers were still in Minneapolis. So in a way, you can thank this trio of players for the Lakers winning their first title in Los Angeles and showing the notoriously tough LA crowds that there's good reason to support the hometown team. If the Lakers hadn't had this success in the 70s, who knows how things would have gone after that. It's hard to run a team if the fans don't care about it and Los Angeles is infamous for being quick to turn on a franchise that doesn't find success. Next is Carl Malone, John Stockton, and Jeff Hornacek. This group of players couldn't finish the job and get a ring, but they have their own place in NBA history nonetheless. Despite the lack of winning a title, they're probably the best the Utah Jazz have ever had. And if you ask any Utah fans, they would be happy to have these players back instead of the current Jazz team that's been in the playoffs for four straight years but hasn't been a true contender. All of the players in this dynamic group were also in the top 15 in the league for win shares during the time they played together. Also, they were pretty important to the success of their franchise. The Jazz have two conference titles in their history, and both of them came during the run when Stockton, Malone, and Hornacek were leading figures on the team. As for Hornacek, his legacy was extended further through becoming a coach. He didn't have too much success with it, but had a shot with both the Phoenix Suns and the New York Knicks. And with the Knicks being known in the league for their bad ownership and dysfunctional front office, you can't really blame him for not turning things around in the two seasons he had as the team's head coach. Malone won MVP twice when he was with Stockton and Hornacek, which helps put into picture how good they were individually, even if they didn't achieve the biggest victory as a team. Also, Malone's 14 all-star appearances and 25 points, 10 rebounds per game average wasn't too bad either. Next is Shaq, Kobe, and a player a lot of people have forgotten. Just about everyone remembers the Shaq and Kobe days of the Lakers. Even if you aren't old enough to remember for yourself, you've almost certainly seen highlights of the dynamic duo that dominated for the relatively brief time they were together in the 2000s. Those teams were truly some of the best teams we've ever seen in the NBA's history and reminded everyone why the Lakers are the premier dynasty in the league. But they didn't just win because of the efforts of a big two, even if they certainly had one. Looking back, it might be easy to forget, but Robert Ory also had a role in those teams. Ory didn't have a stat line that jumps out at you as being dominant, but a look at the advanced statistics gives another story. The forward had the third highest win shares on the team between the 1996-97 and the 0203 seasons. Also, it's quite possible he could have done more in the numbers department if it wasn't for playing with such dominant teammates. Oddly enough, Horry has more rings than either Shaq or Kobe. Barring the players from the 60s Celtics, he actually has more rings than anyone with seven. Sometimes you just have to be in the right place at the right time, and Horry was lucky to end up on multiple championship teams at the perfect time to collect more rings than even Jordan. For this next one, you have to go back to the early days of the league. Before the Lakers were the big bad dynasty in the league, it was the Boston Celtics. 
Bill Russell and the Celtics are well known for their dominance in earlier days of the league, but Russell couldn't pull it off on his own. Just like every other player to win multiple rings, he had help from good teammates to do it. Sam Jones and Tom Heisen were maybe the most notable teammates Russell had during the Celtics' dominant run. They had eight seasons together and each of them finished in the top 15 for win shares, and it shows just how much Boston relied on that set of players to carry them to great heights in a smaller league. Sure, the league wasn't as big back when they were playing, so these Celtics teams tend to get excluded pretty early in the greatest of all time conversations, but you got to give them some credit either way for being an original dynasty and laying out a run of success for teams ahead of them, such as the Lakers at Bulls to chase after. It's pretty much an accepted fact that no one is going to end up with more rings than Russell and that no other team is going to dominate quite as much over a long period of time, so at least some of the accomplishments they achieved are still leaving their mark on the NBA. Next is another Lakers big three to show up on this list. The Lakers, definitely one of the most storied franchises, and it would be impossible to only mention them once or twice on this list. To do so would ignore teams led by one of their most famous all-time players, Magic Johnson, as well as the equally formidable Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and James Worthy. It's hard to say which player was really the leader of this group, because each one of them won a Finals MVP award in the three championships that they won together. Really, this was just a pretty even group and not one where a single player was the clear leader and just had a couple of sidekicks. After all, Magic is iconic in his own right, but it's Kareem that's the all-time leading scorer in the NBA, and James Worthy was still a seven-time All-Star, even if his own accomplishments don't include something like becoming the league's top scorer. Winning the 1988 Finals MVP award is no small task either. Patrick Johnson's rivalry with Larry Bird is one of the things that helped define his career in the 85 and 87 finals. The big three of Johnson, Abdul-Jabbar, and Worthy pushed the Lakers past Bird Celtics. As a whole, they did more than enough to earn their spot with other famous Lakers on the list of the top NBA trios. Next, we have a controversial group of players, LeBron's first big three. LeBron James is one of the most popular players in the NBA, but it wasn't always that way. After his free agency exit from the Cleveland Cavaliers, he was one of the most hated names in the entire league. A lot of the hate was because of the way he dramatically left his hometown team to join up with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh and form his own big three on the Miami Heat. It's safe to say the Heat weren't popular with fans of the other teams in the league at this time. They were one of the most polarizing teams in the league, and you either loved them or you hated them. But whatever you thought about them, you have to admit they had some moments where they were one of the best teams to watch. The Heat became one of the top offensive teams with LeBron, Wade, and Bosh forming its core. They had frequent slow periods, sure, but they always seemed to bounce back from them with their frenetic pace and an attack centered around using the speed of James and Wade as one of their main weapons. Chris Bosh might not have gotten as much credit as he deserved back then, but his ability to stretch the floor made a big impact in important games for the Heat. In fact, you can make an argument that Bosch was the X Factor that allowed the Heat to win back-to-back -back titles in 2012 and 2013, while going to the finals each year between 2011 and 2014. This big three didn't last as long as some of the others on this list, however. While the Heat could have likely continued to dominate if LeBron had remained in Miami, the Heat seemed to get to him and he'd later redeem himself in the eyes of Cleveland sports fans by returning to the Cavaliers and forming another big three with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love. LeBron's second big three even won a title of their own, defeating a Warriors team that set the NBA wins record during the regular season. But their accomplishments aren't quite enough to get them a spot on this list with the greatest trios ever. Finally, it's a trio that many, LeBron included, have chased the accomplishments of. Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, and Dennis Rodman are definitely one of the most recognizable trios in NBA history. All six of the titles that the Bulls hold came under the leadership of Michael Jordan as their main player, and the last three of those came from the teams made up of Jordan, Pippen, and Rodman. They captured the attention of the public both during their own era and today, as seen by ESPN's The Last Dance documentary series, which followed the Bulls during the 1997 season and gave new insights of the main Bulls stars. Also, like any great trio, they were polarizing. Sure, everyone likes Michael Jordan now that he's retired, 
But back then, there were few teams that captured the attention of opposing fans as much as the 90s Bulls teams. Just like the Heat with LeBron and the Warriors with Curry and Thompson at their peaks, everyone was either rooting for the Bulls or wanted their team to beat the Bulls. Anyways, that's it for this list of the best big threes in NBA history. Thanks for watching, and feel free to check out our other NBA videos.